Now South African athlete Ryan Sands is an ultra trail running sensation, an adventurer who is living his dream when he's competing in long distance races in the mountains and off-road. And in 2013, he was the first person to win all four races in the Four Desert Series and became the first person ever to win an ultra trail run on all seven continents. Ryan is a doting father to Max and loving husband to actress, TV presenter and businesswoman Vanessa Hayward Sands. Ryan and Vanessa join us via video call this morning to talk about how they are spending lockdown together before Ryan takes us through an incredible lockdown fitness routine. Ryan and Vanessa, thank you for joining us this morning. How are you guys doing? Hi there. <laughs> Good, thanks. Yeah, great, to, great to be chatting. Good to see you guys. Now, Ryan, I know that you're unable to run in the mountains or go on any trail running adventures, and it can be completely hard for you. But how exactly are you maintaining your training regime during this lockdown? Yeah, it's been quite, quite frustrating, and I definitely am starting to get a bit of cabin fever. I think I've just really tried to focus on, on what I can control and I guess at the moment I'm not able to get a huge volume of, of running training in, but I've been trying to do a lot of strength work and focus on, on some weaknesses. So when the lockdown is over and, and we are allowed, allowed to kind of head out into the mountains again, um, I'll in a way almost be like bulletproof and hopefully not pick up any injuries and just really you know, be able to, to kind of maintain a, a kind of good level of, of running after that. And I guess also trail running is a lot about strength. So being able to do some some strength work is a is a huge huge help and just like a really focused block of, of strength training which I probably wouldn't do if I was able to run in the mountains. Yeah, I like that. Finding a silver lining within the situation. And now look, I know that you're stuck inside your homes and forced to spend time together now more than ever. So Ryan and Vanessa, how have you guys been uh, enjoying the time together? I know you've been together for 10 years already, but during lockdown, how's this this experience been? Yeah, I think it's just like try and focus, like um, really just focus on the on the positives and just for me, I've, I've really enjoyed the, the time just being able to spend a lot of time with with Max and, and Vanessa and not have to like go and rush anywhere or, or to travel any anywhere. So I've really enjoyed that, that 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 aspect and yeah, I guess it's just about like you really just have to focus on the on on the positives at, at the moment. That's all we we got and kind of. Getting, getting fixated on, on what we can't control isn't gonna, gonna help. So yeah, obviously it is frustrating at, at times, but uh, yeah, I guess just being able to spend a lot of quality time with, with Vanessa and Max and do some DIY projects, it's, yeah, I really enjoy the time. And I guess I'm, I'm really fortunate that uh, I am able to to kind of have my family around me during these these times. Did you say it's frustrating? Do I frustrate you? <laughs> Not always. <laughs> no, it's pretty much the same for me. I've really, I've actually, I've got to be honest, I've really enjoyed this time. I mean, obviously, it's a really, really crazy time for the whole world. But I'm trying not to think about it too much because really there's nothing we can do to control it. And I've, I've really loved, as Ryan was saying, not having to rush around. I feel like, when, when we're back to real life, you know, there's a lot of rushing and um, I'd like not having that. <laughs> I definitely agree with you. It's kind of slowed the pace down a bit and helped us kind of appreciate the important things in our lives. So, I mean, now yeah. that the president's obviously extended the lockdown, what advice would you give to other couples who are spending lockdown together and prevent them from killing each other? <laughs> Trying to stay a little bit active, I think, is, is really important. Uh, even if it's kind of like running around the house with your with your kids or jumping on a trampoline with them or just setting yourself like daily small challenges. I, I think it is it's quite overwhelming to know that we've got another three weeks of, of lockdown or geez, At yeah. Least. yeah. So I think just for, for me I just try and break take it one day at a time and really just focus on setting myself one or two challenges for each day and just look like just trying to get through that day and uh, and yeah also just trying to stay active and, and move around because uh, I think exercise is, is good for boosting your immune system and then it also just keeps you keeps you sane. And, I mean, yeah, so there's lots of like challenges you can set yourself around around the house, whether it's push ups or box jumps or running around in, in circles. There was a guy in Italy who ran a, a marathon on his balcony. So yeah, I think we all we all can stay active. And I, I think also for for us it's also been about like having, as Ryan was saying, like just Little, a little bit of structure. I don't, don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself, but especially with kids, I mean, they thrive on routine. 
So just have like a little bit of structure like with us, we've got like a little list that we put up on the cupboard of things we'd like to achieve during this time, whether it's DIY or exercise or little activities that we're doing with Max. And what I have found for me is certainly with the exercise, um, is that I'm, I'm busy raising funds for the SPCA and we're doing like a virtual run and every day we run like circles round and round and round the house. And ordinarily, if I, if I didn't have a goal, um, I don't think I'd necessarily do the kind of hamster wheel stuff, but it's been so nice to have a goal and also just do something good and raise some money. So that's been pretty cool. Oh, I love that. Getting creative, obviously, forced in the lockdown, but also still able to create strength, that mental strength coming through in the training and also a nice opportunity to release. And obviously, for rest of you at home, make sure you tune in later as we'll be doing some incredible fitness workouts with Ryan. So stay tuned for more.